What's up YouTube, Mr. Lemacy here, and today we're going to be going through the Physical Boazon Guide. This is going to be guiding you through best gear, skills, stats, all of that stuff. Talk a little bit about the Amazon character overall, and just kind of give you guys hopefully enough information to make your own Physical Boazon. So let's jump into it. First, we'll take a look at the Amazon. We of course have her stats over there. We have her stats per effect, so every vitality point, how much life you get, her character level and all of the gains there. And then in the bottom right, we do have all of her frames, which are important. I'll teach you a little bit about frames when we get a little bit further into it, but that is going to be um, good for you to note. So starting out, let's go into the final skills for this character and how we're going to build this character. Now, this is a level 99 max character with 110 skill points spent. Um, I have spent them on Guided Arrow, Strafe, and Multi-Shot on top of Crit Strike and Penetrate with one point into Pierce right here. Some people will say don't max out Multi-Shot and Strafe completely. Uh, you know, I mean, all of that's totally fine, right? Like, this is kind of your PVM standard. If you got all those points to spend... I'd spend them there. You could also throw more into Valk if you wanted something that's just a little bit nice to help out with your character. Also, I like a little bit of one in Cold Arrow just to like uh, get a little bit of an immunity hit. Uh, you can also have Magic Arrow for that, so the Cold and Magic can help out with that, but that's kind of like a little bit later stages. Regardless, this is what I think a final skill build should look like for the character. Now, let's say that we're leveling this character up. How do we want to level her? I would actually recommend starting with Exploding Arrow and really recommend and going with your Exploding Arrow through the game. It's not 100% necessary. You can totally level up with multi-shot and stuff like that. But physical damage is really hard to come by early on for the character. So it's going to make it very difficult. So you could go points into Crit Strike to start and then go into your multi-shot, your Guided, and your Strafe. Um, but really this character, I would say, doesn't get super great PVM until you kind of get a decent bow, get strafe going, a little bit of that stuff. So my recommendation would be just start like this, right, to level uh, 9, 10, 11, and then 12, and then just go up with your exploding arrow, and I would just max exploding arrow and use this through a lot of normal, and then you can respec over when you get nightmare wherever it is. Um, you can respec out of that, and I would say definitely put your points, right, let's say you're level like 35 when you respec, Put a couple points into Pierce right there to get your Pierce up a little bit to help that. You can also put some points. Oopsies. Thank you, Braves. Um, we have to mute that. You can also put your points into Penetrate right here uh, so you can increase your attack rating. I actually think this is very helpful. Um, and then Crit Strike just to boost your Crit Strike rate. So I think having some points over here is actually very, very useful for this character early. Um, and then you can get your points into... Uh, guided arrow and strafe and this helps up the targets and the damage as you kind of put points into these I don't think guided arrow is actually super great um, for PVM really uh, I'd more use strafe but you can see it does lower the mana cost every point you get a little added damage it's not a terrible thing so you can start to kind of put points into here as you're going but really I would say focus on getting points into strafe and then when you feel like if you need more attack rating, getting them into penetrate. Um, and if you're, you know, get your crit strike up to an okay amount and your pierce up to an okay amount. So that would be kind of my recommended as I'm leveling through. And then I'm just going to keep kind of pumping points here and whatever not. Pumping points here and whatever not. Um, and if you want a really multi-shot, you can. But generally having a, more than a few points in multi-shot once you get, you know, like five points into it. This early especially. You're going to be pretty good. Like you're going to be able to clear a lot of the monsters in front and hit a lot of the monsters so i wouldn't really be doing a ton right there um next up we can look at stats for this character ultimately you're going to want enough stats for your gear so enough strength for gear enough dex for gear and then everything else into vitality you can put a little bit of point a, f a few points into energy maybe like 15 20 extra points as you're going through just because things do get a tiny bit mana intensive um but I would, but you're going to eventually respec out of that and have no points in energy when you eventually get there at the end. Uh, otherwise, strength. I like to start out with just 25 strength. This is just so I can wear a belt. 
Simple as that, a belt that has 12 potion slots. Dexterity, you can put a little bit in for some of the initial attack rating, but at the same time, um, getting just attack rating from basic things like Angelics or something is going to be worth so much more than jamming all of your points into Dexterity. So you'll want to put some points into here because eventually bows are going to start costing more Dexterity that you're going to want to use, uh, but you're not going to want to go absolutely crazy with it. And then everything else, like I say, you just want to put over into uh, Vitality because this is just your big life sink. So that's really where you want to kind of be for that. Now let's move into the gear, the really important stuff, right? Um, so let me go to the main gear spot and let me get just the basics first. So for, from a charms perspective, you'll want to look at something along this line. Of course, a torch and an Annihilus are both going to be great. Amazon torch if you can get it. Um, for grand charms, you'll you'll probably you'll want to get some 1476s or just anything with charms that are big damage and attack rating. 3, 11, 8, that's fine. 20, 17, these are like perfect. This is like more of what I just kind of find around. 3, 20, 20s, you know. Um, but whatever you can get with life and with max and res and all of that stuff is very helpful for this character. Additionally, you're really going to be looking for a lot of damage add. That's going to be the big thing for this character. So less on all the plus skills, that doesn't do as much. And more of the focus is going to be around how do we add more damage. So for instance, laying of hands is great because you get all this ed added to it and i'm actually just going to put on a lot of gear here first and then we can kind of talk through um some of the gear as we're just going from there i'll put a mars put that on sure and oh a 420 perfect uh and let me grab a little bit of strength really quick just to put what do we need oh 167 decks just to put some of these things on. And there's really a couple options as well that you'll run into with this character. And so you can kind of pick and choose as you would like, um, you know, as you're, as you're going around with it all and stuff. So this is kind of a standard setup, I would say. And there's really two setups optional here for you. The first one is running Wind Force. The second one is running Faith. Um, that's pretty much the two main bows that you're going to look at. Wind Force is a higher max damage. As you can see, 309 to max damage is huge. You get the knockback. Uh, so it's really just a big max damage bow. Faith, you get the fanaticism, more to the crossbow skills. You get ignore target defense. You get a big bonus to attack rating. So some people prefer to run this. Um, kind of up to you. But if you run this, then you can run a Faith on your Mercenary in like a Great Bow or something like that. Um, so that's kind of the way that I like to do it is Wind Force here, Faith on the Mercenary. And it's a nice combination. Now, with that being said, Giyami's Face is a great helm. You could also, if you're rich, you could get a 45-120 with like 30 decks or something on a Jeweler's item there. Um, but this is a nice, easy helm to get. Mara's I would not be using. I would be using uh, High Lord's. So let me, where did I put my High Lords at? Oops, I think I left it on another character. Um, oh no, nope, that's not it. All right, I left my High Lords on another character. Let's go grab it really fast. But you can be using High Lords right there, um, which is super, super nice overall. Not there. And Javazon has it. Okay. Okay, going back. So um, I like having the High Lords for her. Uh, that's just going to be very nice. You get the skills, IAS, the Deadly Strike, really big, right? Fortitude is great. You get massive ED from that. You get some resistances. You get some life. I mean, it's just a solid uh, armor. Wind Force, obviously, for big damage. This for big damage to demons. IAS, all of that. This is a, a Leech Ring, so you get some Mana Steel. You get stats, attack rating, res. That's just really solid because um, you're going to want some mana leech for this character. It helps a lot. Razor Tail is really nice. You could also use like Nosferatu's if you really wanted, right, for the IAS and a little bit of that stuff and some life leech. SOJ works. BK works. Gore Riders are great. A lot of people like War Traps as well because they have 15 to 25 added damage. Um, and then CTA and Lidless on swap and people like this because generally they don't, they don't have 156 strength So they use the Lidless instead or a Saigon shield just something to uh, have a plus one skills there If you have the strength you can go ahead and use spirit right there as well And like I said for the mercenary I like to have this faith bow if I'm running like this Otherwise you can run 
like this setup right here. Um, now, let's move into maybe a slightly different kind of build. If you want to be a little more defensive, you could run uh, another Raven Frost. Uh, or, oh, where is my first one? Sorry. I would run Raven Frost here instead. Um, but you could run like a second Raven Frost or even more cold, cold Absorb. You can run some really high resistance boots, maybe something like this, just like get massive res and it's just super good. You obviously won't get these boots. These are perfectly amazing, um, but just something that's like nice there. Um, or you could use something like, you know, a uh, G Skull or something can be decent um, for you in that regard. Uh, but let's take a look at some other stuff that we'll be um, getting along the way. Some budget things that we might pick up as we go along, right? So stealth armor, fantastic, amazing starting armor. You get faster on lock, faster recovery in decks. Twitch throw is great. Peace is great. Duress would honestly be super good for this character. Open wounds, crushing blow, resistances, hit recovery, all really nice. Smoke is good. Treachery would be good. You get the Venom, you get the Fade proc, all that on top of the big IAS. Um, Durial Shell and Spirit Shroud would both be nice because they can give you Cannot Be Frozen. So getting some sorts of Cannot Be Frozen is really solid for this character, however you can get it. Even something like a Death's Guard. That's great. If not, all res right here is nice and mana. String of Ears is good. Gold Wrap is good. Nosferatu is, once again, you get the IAS from it. But even just like a big life belt, going to be super easy, super great for the character right there. Um, in terms of amulets and stuff, big life and res are always super nice, even if it doesn't have like Amazon skills, just that can be good. Um, anything with big attack rating can be helpful for this character because you're going to want some, right? So whatever it is, even, oh, attack rating and all res, perfect. And strength, I love that. Uh, if not, then you can grab like maybe some dwarf stars are nice. Um, a Nagel's going to have attack rating on top of some MF for you. Uh, and then even, you know, obviously, like I say, if you can get Raven Frost, that's all good. Um, Serikin's Chance is decent. Um, I would definitely say Mahi Moke isn't bad. You get the 10% bonus to attack rating, all attributes, all res. But your solid, solid combo you're going to want to go for is the Angelics. This is going to be like your perfect little budget because you get massive boost to attack rating. Look at that, 1188 to attack rating. Obviously, I'm level 99, but still massive attack rating and 10 dexterity and 75 to life. So it's actually a really nice little combination. Um, a lot of people use this through to the end game until they like don't have attack rating issues anymore. Highly recommended. In terms of helms, mana per kill is okay. Uh, you're probably gonna want something a little different, but this is like not a bad starting piece. If you just need res, this is okay. Um, lore is okay, but once again, we're not aiming for plus to skills as much. We're more looking for, you know, obviously something like EM's face is great, but just like big res from the helm, resistances, damage reduction from the helm, all of that stuff is gonna be super good, super, super good right there. Um, for gloves, IAS is really what we're focusing on here. Whether it's Sanders or Blood Fist or Laying of Hands or even just shopping 20 IAS gloves with resistances or something, this is just going to be very good for the character. And then boots, something as simple as Hisaris are great. Um, Goblin Toes add Crushing Blow. Gore Riders, obviously, like we showed before. War Traps for the added damage. Um, but even something just like this, you know, Alders or Nats or something with just faster run walk and resistances in life. Uh, these can all be nice boots that you can just get while you're just playing through. Uh, moving on to the mercenary. Uh, like I say, if you want to have an Act 1 mercenary with a Faith because you want to run Wind Force, that's definitely good. And you can just get like a cold mercenary with that. Otherwise, I would use an Act 2 mercenary and you can decide between Blessed Aim, Might, and Holy Freeze. Those would be my three suggestions. Um, and then you can decide on kind of like how you want to run them. So, okay, here's, you know, Fortitude, Andes, and Reaper's Toll. I think that's a pretty solid setup. Uh, you could also use an Insight if you wanted for some mana issues. You could use Obedience for something really cheap with high damage. Bone Hue, Tomb Reaver. Uh, I wouldn't use Infinity on this character, but, you know, something like that's really solid. Um, Pride would work as well, get Concentration. If you can't get your Fortitude, you can make Treachery. Uh, so this is great, and once again, good on you and on the Mercenary. Uh, and even something basic like Shaft Stop or whatever stuff you can put over there. And then for Helms, Crown of Thieves is nice. Taurasha's Helm is nice. Cannot be frozen from Kira's, Vamp Gaze. All these things are simple, easy, great for your Mercenary, and just going to be 
really, really solid overall. Um, so that's going to help your mercenary out. But overall, this character is really a lot of fun, and you can use her for, you know, so many just, like, fun different things, whether you're, uh, you know, trying to strafe or multi-shot. Uh, so let me get strafe and multi, um, or you're, you're guided. So like I say, with guided, you, you know, you're going to have to, like, shoot individually. It's not as much of a PVM, uh, whereas strafe is just a super fun time, right? Or you can run around and just be the classic, everybody's favorite running and you just have the multi shots on and she just does a lot of really good damage and it's just a lot of fun overall um so highly recommended this character she's more of an end game character though she does require some gear to really get going so for starting out i would put her down in like a c to d tier because she's not going to be as strong um she will be a little bit helpful probably like c tier um but late game she definitely picks up in strength and is a ton of fun to play and I highly, highly recommend her overall. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy this. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, Mwah. peace, YouTube.